Welcome back, 924 right now. Is the reality of the post-holiday chaos now settling in, right? You know, bags and boxes and tissue paper still everywhere. It's time to declutter your home after the holidays. It's sort of the new spring cleaning. And joining us this morning to help us get organized and store our holiday decor is our good friend Susanna Kay, organizing and productivity coach with Spark Organizing. Great to have you back. We so missed nice you. Back. I know. Oh, I love we it missed here. you. I love it. Okay, so this is really it is a cleansing time for people, right? It is. Because you oh, get yeah. all of these new things, gifts and other things, right? And all of a sudden you're looking around saying, I have so much stuff, I need to get Your rid house of some of it. It's small and you can't right. wait to like make room again. Right. Which I love this part of the season. <laughs> Me too. It, it feels so much better. It. Yes. And okay. it all starts with preparing ahead of time with simple decorations. So as you pack up your decorations this year, think about what you can let go of and what you can make more simple for next year. So one of the things I love to do, I love to do photos okay. from previous years. So I usually have photos from various years of like making cookies right. with my stepdaughter. Yes. These are so easy. I actually pack the whole frame and everything half the time in the bin. And I can even use some of our linens oh, to pack them to make it idea. nice and easy. Because you're going to so need those I'm linens need them anyways. next year. And yes. these don't go in the shed. I love so it. So <laughs> the linens are absolutely fine and they pack so nicely in a box. Mm. So I use my linens. Okay. Saves on packing. I use extra tissue from the presents that we already unwrapped. But I just pack up the frames or I'll change out a few frames sometimes for the next holiday. I'll put Great other idea. photos in and keep the frames in the same place every time. Okay. Makes it so much easier. Yes, it does. And I love that you pointed out too that it, it, especially if you have holiday decor that you didn't even put out this yes. year, it's a great Simplify time to get now. rid of it, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like if I didn't even want to pull it out, then why am I saving it? Right. Think about why. Maybe this year was different. Right. But think about also, would you do you love it? Yeah. Or did you just not like it as much as what was already out? Right. Right. Or it's old and tattered, and it's, or it's time old to just and tattered. Yeah. Like now is your time to purge all that stuff that you're not in love with. Okay. Another thing that I do throughout the holidays because we always wonder what to do with those cards. Yes. And I like you to feel bad throwing, throwing them away, year. don't you? Yes. Me too. Yes. So I just use a hole punch. And punch holes in them and then use these little binder clips. That's a great idea. I do this with everything birthday cards, special cards, and I then love throughout that. the season I can just pop them right on a little plate rack. And, and anybody can go through here. them and look at the old pictures. Yeah, yeah that's a wonderful idea. Say, hey, photos or I love that. Different cards. All right, let's talk ornaments because this yes. is always a, oh. quite the task, isn't it? Simplifying the packing up is so helpful. First off, I always use the same size bins. Okay. <laughs> so these are not my actual bins. I made smaller ones for here because mine are really big, <laughs> of course. But use the same brand and they'll stack better. Right. And that way, if you use clear, you can make really clear labels and you don't have to pull them out at the same time. So there are some where if it says tree on it, I'm not pulling it out until we get the tree and we're ready for that. That stays right. in storage. Right, sure, that makes sense. But some of the things like the mantelpiece, I would pull out right away, and I can pick and choose what I'm pulling out for next year, and I can also customize my storage. I love the inserts. You can buy some, and then what I did, I bought some, and then never things didn't quite fit right, so yeah. then I started making my own, and they're super simple to make. All those Amazon boxes. Oh, sure, cut them up. You just cut them up, yeah. cut it to half. Yeah. And then you can make your own sizes because, like, the Mickeys didn't fit, the frames didn't right, fit. Right, right. None of that fit quite right. You can use Amazon boxes, cereal boxes. Oh, look at your beautiful but, yeah, ornaments. Yeah, so when Those you have that pretty. random big yeah. ornament, if you bought them, just cut out the middle. Little frames can go in. Oh, you that's so nice. Own, and that makes it so much easier to put away. It does, yeah, it does. You know exactly and then it goes. makes it fun, too, the next year when you're going to pull everything back out again yes. because you're like, oh, it's so simple. I know where everything is. And it's all still not broken. It's yes. in good shape, and you're not worried about it the whole time. I love it. All so. right, great ideas to get you started. So if you've got a couple days off and that's what you're doing, this is perfect advice. Thank yes, you so I much. I love it. SusannaK.com is the website. Go check her out. She always has the best advice. <laughs> all right, we're going to send it back to Studio A.